Today can be an easy day, it can be a hard day, or it might turn out to be a no day. What am I doing? I'm standing next to the road. I want to make the next vlog. I'm hitchhiking. We'll see where I will end up. What do I mean by no day? No day means if I stand here for too long and I don't get a lift, I'll just go back to my little place, which is over there. Luckily, there are a lot of towns around me and this will be my vlogging for the summer hitchhiking somewhere and seeing what I find. So let's see if we find something today. If we end up I'm ready to stay overnight maybe on the beach. I have a sleeping bag and a little blow up mattress or at the police station wherever I need to. Now let's see if we get anywhere today. If we don't get anywhere today I'll just try again another day. Let's hope for the best. I stood there for about half an hour, I got a lift to return off to Mahasa, it's not all the way. But uh, let's see, it's still so far not a hard day. And I got a lift from this man. Thank you sir, what's your name? Sure, my name's Gareth. Uh, you're a local? Uh, yeah, we live at the Gaia Sanctuary. Cool, so we're on our way. Got here to the turn off. Now we'll see, but now I'm not walking distance back to my place anymore. So it's a bit more adventurous. <laughs> Let's hope we get a lift and not burn to death here in the sun. Here's a car, maybe it'll give us a lift. That'll be quick. Malchas, Malchas. Okay, like it, like it. As you probably heard, they're working on the road, but there's another bucket. Let's try this one. Malchas! Huh? Nope. <laughs> Loads of trucks going down here. Well, summer is starting and today with a bit of a vengeance is hot. But I've got a little bit of shade here. Thank God, I also have some cows coming to check out what this crazy guy is doing. <laughs> Who are you guys? <laughs> I'm from Bafiyaks. I'm from Bafiyaks. Oh, you know me then? Yes. What are you guys doing? Walking all the way to Bafiyaks? Yes, long walk to freedom. You see what's there in your head? Ah, oh, you can have a little bit of a beer, <laughs> some music. And we, got, uh, we want to go to get food also. Good times. Yeah, Great. good Nazis. Let me take a photo of you guys. Wait. I'm having so much fun here, getting entertained by all kinds of people that uh, I'm not getting a chance to hitchhike, but uh, these guys actually gave me some narki, so they actually fed me. <laughs> That's cool. I've got a crowd of cows now. Suddenly they all, oh yeah, they're very curious. Check it out. It's all coming along. There were none, now there are many. I was there for about, I don't know, an hour and a half with the cows in the field. And I got picked up with, uh, by these two people. And they're giving me a ride to Mokhas. So it looks like my little free world world sign is working. So thank you very much. Really appreciate it, guys. Thank you. The great drive of these people to understand me and what I do completely. Sometimes you just meet people and you just connect, and that's why I got to live. What we got, you know, I don't know, about 20 30 kilometers. I still don't know where I'm gonna stay or what, nothing. I'm just here now, and we've arrived at the pond, the ferry. So, but it's beautiful here. It's, uh, it's, the river is broad, and there's a lot of little houses and trees and greenery here. I'm very excited. <laughs> Let's see what happens now, anything can happen now. This is Malchaz, welcome to Malchaz. Here we are at Malchaz. I'm slightly terrified because it's small. 
I don't know what's gonna happen, where I'm gonna stay, how I will get back. But this is a free wild world adventure and we are here now in Mojas and I'm gonna try and show you as much of this place as possible. Excited and terrified. That's always a good adventure. So the ferry will come over now, then we'll hop on the ferry, go to the other side and see what happens from there. I don't know, anything could happen. Malchas is a settlement next to the Brilla River in South Africa. It's a great place for fishing, enjoying nature and birding. It used to be known as the place with the last hand-driven river pond. It was only motorized in 2020. So guys how much is it for me to go over as a pedestrian they say no it's for free great news you still get stuff for free in life a river ride on a Malchas ferry the pond and it's a unique and nice interesting experience as you can see on the back there are a few rules here very nice rules, respect nature and your neighbors and not too much noise after 10, which makes sense it's so peaceful and quiet. It's a lot smaller than I imagined somehow, I don't know. It's really small. Now the next move is to see if I can get beer here. Yeah, that's not going to be too expensive. And now we have to do the beer drinking vibe when we come to a new place. So let's go check what we find. I'm walking up here on the little tar road and I see there's a few signs here, guest house, Malchaz guest house. Uh, let's see what we find. I'm at the hotel so let's check that out. Looks pretty. Let's see if we can get a cold beer and maybe a view of the river. I personally like it's got that old school hotel feeling. It's so calming and quiet and tranquil here. Yeah. Very, very relaxing. I also do have brides here, so important for me always to check if a place has a bride spot and they have two. They've got two on the veranda and I think they've got another bride spot here somewhere. I see there's a lot of fireplaces and there's a bookshelf, so I think in the winter time when it's cold and you want to break away to a quiet place and just read a book for a weekend, this is a good spot. That was awesome, now I've got some energy. Apparently there's another bar here with the locals hang out so we're gonna check that out now apparently it's open from 11 until 8 i'm a bit worried because i said it's really quiet there there's not a lot of traffic no idea how i will get out if i need to get out but hey it's gonna be what it's gonna be so you can get bait wood and petrol
wind is high, I hope you can hear what I'm saying. I'm walking up this hill. The sign says there's a trading station two kilometers up this hill. And I don't see the other bar somewhere around here. I'm sure I'll get to it at some point. But let's see what we find. wheeze going on in my lungs walked up this hill it was good exercise but I didn't find any trading post I found a recycled link place oh, but there's not much here it's quite small so this might be a quite short block so I can say I covered my house at least but you never know what still might happen life is full of surprises apparently the other bar grant is the local bar is further up that hill and I am not gonna walk that hill again so if I can't manage to get a lift there we're not gonna see it out of bar because I can't do it again man <laughs> I'm too tired I'm back here at the ferry I'm a bit sunburned and tired so I'm gonna see what happens now I'm gonna wait around here maybe I'll get a lift to the bar or I'll get a lift back home or I'm just gonna wait around here or maybe I'll have to find a place to sleep over here next to the river bank I don't know, let's see. I just met these guys trying to make it back to Bofayas and they are going for a fishing and brying and catering weekend in oh. Witsand. How's it? How's it man? Stan here. Like We're from Impa Structures. We're going to go and uh, stay in the Breda River Lodge and uh, have some fun at the bar and on the river and at sea tomorrow. Enjoy. Great. Lekker, we will. Thanks man. So I'm just going to stand here and ask everybody that goes past here if I can get a lift and if I can't, then I can't. Actually, just standing here could be interesting because all kinds of people are crossing over here. See interesting things happen here, just standing at the pond, at the ferry. Things are going down, man. A young foreign couple that I saw earlier are on their way back. I asked for a ride, but I think they're getting South African serial killer vibes from me. So they said, no, 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 I can't get a ride. I'm just gonna cross with these guys for fun. It's a family here in the corner back, but obviously it's small kids and women. They're not gonna give a, a weird looking hippie like me with serial killer vibes a lift. But I can enjoy the ride across the river and back. I tell you what, it's not the worst place to get stuck. It's a very pleasant place to wait for a ride. These guys that are working the ferry, they have the little vegetable garden here. I mean, there's enough water, so you can grow stuff and it's relaxed. Sun is turning into a nice orange now, so I'm having a good time. And if I sleep here, I'm probably going to sleep next to the petrol station or wherever. That's fine. It's going to be relaxing. Is that millies? Spinach. Carrot. Carrot. Another buck is coming. Oh, well, yeah, it's a buck. Always ask, see if we can get a lift here. Negative. It looks like I'll be sleeping here al fresco tonight. So far, no lift. But. It's going to be nice and quiet, but it's going to be a long night. Uh, it might be quite cool next to the river, but it's okay.
the sun is low and I think it's about 10 minutes before the maximum opening time of the pond. So I think this vlogger is going to spend the night outside. I just had a look at the sign and I see the pond is actually free for everybody. It doesn't matter if you're a pedestrian or if you have a vehicle, it's a, like a government service or whatever. Anyway, I'm going to try and maybe walk up to the other bar, it's quite far, but at least it will keep me busy. And when I sleep outside or something like this, it's better to be really tired. It makes it easier to fall asleep and uh, combats boredom. So here's what happened, so I walked for about a kilometer and then somebody came past of a bucket local, I'm assuming gave me a lift to the bar trading spot which I, show, I will show you now. It looks quite interesting and uh, it's a bit further than I thought. And then we'll sit here and have a beer or so and see what happens then. Mingle with the locals. At least the good side of not getting a lift back today I can vlog a bit longer. So I just want to show you the roads. It's like a crossroad vibe here. So that's one side. That's towards town and that's somewhere else. So I came from there and we are here. That's the bar. Let's go check it out. Oh, it looks awesome. Nice. Busy. It's looking good, man. I've been shown amazing hospitality again and I'm having scalp sterkies which I've never had. <laughs> the owner said you want some scalp sterkies. I said yeah let's go man. It smells very like my favorite meat which it is which is lamb or mutton. Hmm. What a cool surprise. I didn't expect it. I came here, couldn't get a lift back, came to this bar, a really good choice I made, met amazing people, eating great food again, and uh, had a few drinks, and that's what I love about this life, and vlogging, and uh, just going out of the comfort zone, and meeting people, and experiencing stuff, and showing it to people, for me it's priceless completely priceless I'm addicted now the top time will start because it's gonna be a long night I have to find a posse to sleep in my uh, sleeping bag but I got a little bit of a low mattress and that's where boys don't cry because this life has its perks but it's got its tough side as well and it's gonna be a long tough night but it's okay it's well worth it because of this experience and I can share it with you. Happiness. We'll see how I look in the morning. <laughs> no, those are not aliens unfortunately. They're probably busy or something, I don't know. Doing alien shit. But I made it back, it's about a 10 to 15 minute walk. It's very quiet. And I just want to see if the hotel bar is open for interest sake. Then I'll find a nice piece of lawn somewhere. Because there's lots of very soft green grass around here. Yeah? Okay, let's check it out. I'm back here at the ferry. So I think I'm just going to get myself a piece of grass there. There's a light there that attracts a lot of bugs. It's a bit above the water, so it shouldn't be too cold. And when the ferry opens at 6, I'll be here. So you want to know how's it going with the camping scenario? 
little blow-up mattress I have is a complete fail. Luckily there's lots of grass here. It's 10 o'clock. It's going to be a hard night, but I'm just going to get through it. Just woke up and so how was it? Well, it was actually pretty good. I slept really deeply. There was absolutely not no breeze, nothing. It wasn't cold. There were no insects, no mosquitoes. I felt safe because I mean it's such a small place. I slept I slept deeply. I'm still like waking up. And it was surprisingly good. I feel good. And uh, now it's a question of how long will I wait to get a lift. But uh, yeah, this was a success. It was like sleeping in one huge room. It was so quiet and so I uh, stole the air. Uh, yeah, it was awesome. <laughs> success. Right. Let's check out the world. And now we wait. I might get stuck another day here, who knows. <laughs> Two and a half hours later, I'm still stuck. It's been a few cars past here, but no lift. At least I get to experience the life of a ferryman. <laughs> it's a bit boring. Uh, other option is to start walking. Uh, it's a bit over 30 kilometers. It's doable, but it's going to be hard. But uh, yeah, the wait continues for a lift. It is the hardest journey ever for a burger and a beer in a hotel. <laughs> That's a bit ridiculous. I think I'm gonna start walking and hitchhiking because it's better than just sitting, I'm really bored. Let's see if I, I get, I'll just take it kilometer by kilometer or step by step and kilometer by kilometer. Walk starts, let's see how far I get. How's it, bro? So sometimes you just have to take a step forward, then things change again. If it gets stagnant, just make a move. So I decided I'm gonna walk, worst case scenario, walk all the way. But you know, I met these two guys, they work here, this guy on the farming, they're gonna do poison for the farm or whatever. This man and this man is a bucky, and he said he'll give me a lift a bit further on when he comes back. Further to Bilof Bilfia, so sometimes you just have to make a move and things start flowing again. What's your name? Yes, yes one. Yes, sir. Thanks, guys, I appreciate it. So he's gonna go that way first and come back after about 20 or 30 minutes. But I'm gonna start walking just to see what happens anyway, so but he'll give me a lift a bit later when he gets back. This type of travel, basically like anything in life, and life itself is a gamble. It's all a gamble, it's all relative what the gamble is. Some things are more sure than other things, but it's still all a gamble. We're drifting in space, it's a gamble, man. And uh, you get through these times where it becomes hard and mentally you start slipping. You can feel yourself going down and the energy starts going down. 
and it's easy just to get into that rut of slipping into nothingness and hopelessness but then it's up to you to make some kind of move get the energy flowing again push yourself out of that rut and continue and things will change again that's just life and that's the one thing this type of journey is teaching me in a very real way you can't get it taught to you in any other way except suffering a bit and pushing on through is this exact lesson and you can apply this to anything in life it's beautiful here <laughs> I think this is more or less birds all over. This is more or less a two kilometer mark. <laughs> couple of k's and now I'm gonna ride for a couple of k's and then we'll take it from there. All in good spirits. Bye, we'll ride, it helped me a lot. So now I'm going to continue on the road. Thank you, thank you very much, brother. See you next time. We're moving it again, but I got a few kilometers closer, so let's see what happens. Damn, man, I want to get home and have a beer and then sleep a few hours. <laughs> At the crossroads, I'm not really sure which one to take now. Hopefully, Google Map will help me. Some guys are working in the field up here. Harvest time, I believe. And these are mostly canola fields being harvested. According to Google Maps, I've got about 25 k's to go, which is a lot. <laughs> This is a definition of a quiet road, not much traffic. So I walked for another five kilometers or so, and I was getting tired and my shoulders were getting sore. A lot of traffic passed me, nobody picked me up. No mercy. And I was starting to feel sorry for myself a bit, and then I mentally prepared myself. I checked on Google Maps, another four hours of walking, and I mentally prepared myself to walk the whole way. And then the same couple passed me that picked me up on the way back there, or there. And they gave me a lift. So I, they saved me four hours now, and they're such a wonderful, cool couple. And we had good conversations. Well, I had most of the conversation because they were interested in my life, and I just talked to them a lot about people's prejudice about people like me and stuff, blah, blah, blah. But I'm back. And they saved me four hours and a lot of pain and exercise. <laughs> so here I am. And I'm so happy that I, if it wasn't for them, this wouldn't have happened, this vlog at all. So thank you guys uh, very much. You made this vlog happen. I learned a lot. And I'm going to be honest with you because I'm so happy. I'm going to buy a beer now and drink a beer and relax for a couple of hours and tonight the plan is to make a quarter chicken and chips in front here for the people after work a few portions because I have to do whatever I can to, to make a little bit of money to survive if you like this vlog please support me just by liking subscribing and commenting home sweet home okay guys I'll see you in the next vlog have good times always Beef.